Hello, this is Steve, and I'm here with another lesson for the IELTS. Hobbies and interests are two of the most common topics that you may encounter in the IELTS speaking test. Questions about leisure time, activities that you do during the weekends, and your present interests may be asked. You may also be asked about the hobbies you had and activities you did during your childhood, which requires you to recall the past. Hobbies include leisure activities done during your free time, while interests encompass topics or areas of study that you find engaging. In the speaking test, many questions would ask what you like or prefer, do or did, or what you think about something. Since these may be asked several times, you have to find other ways of expressing yourself rather than being redundant or repeating the same words in the question. Avoiding redundancy is a key skill you'll learn in this lesson. Being redundant means using words unnecessarily or several times. There are many ways of expressing an idea so repeating the same words in your answer means you lack vocabulary. There are some questions in which it's impossible not to repeat the same words used when you deliver your answer. But using synonyms will help in minimising redundancy. Observe the words used in these examples. Instead of repeating words in your answer, use synonyms or antonyms to demonstrate the range of your vocabulary. There are a lot of alternative ways to express yourself. Take a look at some of them below. Now, let's look at some questions about hobbies and interests. This common question can be answered by describing your usual weekend. You can also mention who you spend your weekends with. It's best to use different adverbs of frequency in answering this question to make your response more interesting and detailed. Avoid redundancy to earn a high score. This is another question wherein you need to use synonyms. To answer this question, you have to mention the games you play. If you plan to mention more than one game, use other ways of expressing yourself. Use the synonyms of play or the like to increase your lexical resource score. Redundancy affects an answer. Observe how these sample answers were delivered. A lot of hobbies aren't appreciated by the masses, but there are people who like to share the same hobby with another person. Of course, it would be more interesting to be with a person who shares the same hobby as me. It's interesting to share ideas on how to do a hobby in a different way. Here's another example. A lot of hobbies aren't appreciated by the masses, but there are people who like to share the same leisure activities with another person. Of course, it would be more interesting to be with a person who's engrossed with a common hobby. It's exciting to acquire new ideas on how to do a hobby in a different way. These two sample answers have the same idea. However, sample answer one used the same words in almost the entire response. Sample answer two, on the other hand, used synonyms to express the answer in a different way. In conclusion, it's possible to avoid redundancy by using synonyms. Improve the range of your vocabulary so that you can correctly use more words in your answer. That's the end of lesson two. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Bye.